Hello and welcome to the Dragon Den. I am King of Dragons 5000 and today I have another action figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Frazetta Girls Icon Collectibles Fire and Ice Tigra. So getting Tigra out of the packaging we are greeted with a very beautiful figure. Frazetta Girls has done another great job here with Tigra and the amount of detail in her is spectacular. From her black flowing hair all the way down to her amazing shading, there's a lot of things to love about Tigra. Having a look at her accessories, Tigra does come with three different head sculpts, as well as two different hair sculpts. Tigra is going to include three pairs of hands as well as a spear, a knife, and a sharpened branch. She also does come with this really nice shawl that goes over her body as well as a loincloth. And finally, she does come with her panther, Shaitan. And Shaitan does come with two different head sculpts, one with an articulated jaw. The amount of sculpted detailing here on Tigra is quite impressive and Frazetta Girls has done a great job with her. Though she is wearing very revealing clothing, the amount of sculpted detail in her is nothing to shy away from. Having a look at her face, Frazetta Girls has done a great job painting this beautiful head sculpt. Her beautiful green eyes are painted very cleanly and the line work on her eyes are spectacular. Add to it, the color of her lips is very beautiful, and one thing I really love is the fact they even sculpted some earrings on her ears. And the sculpt work on her hair is actually quite good, as there's a lot of detailing in every single strand. Having a look at her wardrobe, we can see that Tigra is wearing basically a bikini. Her top is done in this very nice lavender color, and you can see the black straps that hold it together. Add to it some gold accents really does bring the look together nicely. And her chest is sculpted with anatomically correct features. And one thing I absolutely love is the shading that they were able to put throughout her skin giving all her tone definition some really nice detailing. Her arms are bare and they don't have any accessories added to them but they are still sculpted nicely. And once again, that painted detail carries over here where the highlights and low points have some really nice shading and detailing. They even went as far as to sculpt her fingernails on every single finger. Tigra's bottoms once again are very revealing, but they are still done in that really nice lavender color. We still have the gold painted accent parts which look really good and the black straps from the front to the back are painted nicely. And some of her more prominent features are actually sculpted really nicely here. Despite having nothing on her legs, Tigra's legs will carry over that really impressive shading that we saw throughout her body. The way the shading is done, it only highlights those impressive details in all the musculature on her legs. As we get to the feet, you can see she's still not wearing any footwear and the detailing on her feet is actually quite impressive. Her toes are nicely sculpted and we still have some detailing such as toenails. As far as clothing goes, there's really not much detail to speak on here on Tigra because she's basically wearing a bikini top and a thong. However, the musculature detailing in here is quite impressive and it's only highlighted with all the impressive shading detailing. Even wearing this very revealing outfit, it's quite impressive with the amount of details that were painted onto Tigra. With the paint and details out of the way, let's get Tigra compared to our usual suspects. Despite being part of the Icon Collectibles, which is slightly taller than true 1 12th scale, Tigra is actually going to fit in with a lot of domestic toy lines. Being listed as a 1 12th scale figure, Tigra here is actually going to be slightly taller than true 1 12th scale. However, once you get a pose next to Dark Wolf, you can see that she is quite in scale with him. Having a look at Tigra's articulation, she will have a double ball joint in the head. Arms go out to the side and do a full 360. She has a hinge and swivel at her elbow. She will have a standard hinge and swivel at her wrist. Tigra is going to have a double ball joint in her midsection. Her legs do kick forward, go back, 
out to the side and have a thigh swivel. She has a hinge and swivel at her knees. Finally, Tigra has a hinge in the foot and forward-facing pin for rocker ankle. Unfortunately, Tigra isn't going to be the most articulated figure, which is a little bit unfortunate. Though the articulation is functional here on Tigra, seeing as how she's not really wearing anything, I would have loved to see a little more articulation out of her. With everything said and done about the Icon Collectibles Fire and Ice Tigra, let's get her posed for my final thoughts. Though I haven't personally seen Fire and Ice, I think Tigra here is an exceptionally well-made figure. It's very clear that the Icon Collectibles is favoring sculpt over articulation as Tigra has some amazing detailing in her sculpt work. It's very clear that the detailing here on Tigra is quite sharp as you can see a lot of the musculature in her body, especially in toward her abdomen. What little clothes she has on her actually sculpted really nicely and I like the detailing that you can actually see throughout her body. Tigra is going to be an impressive figure to look at, however display options might be rather limited. As Frazetta is favoring sculpt over articulation, it really does hinder how many poses you can get her into. And Tigra actually comes with a healthy set of accessories, the fact that we get three different pairs of hands is good and I love all the three heads that she comes with. Add to it with the two different hair options, it gives her a really nice look and everything comes together nicely when posing her with Dark Wolf. At the time I'm making this video, Tigra is still available on Big Bad Toy Store, so you can still pick her up and add her to your collection. Fans of the Fire and Ice series are going to fall in love with this Tigra figure and she is a must have. Thank you for taking the time and watching another video here on the Dragon Den. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out the rest of my action figure videos. If you're in a position to help out the Dragon Den, check out my Patreon where I have some exclusive content and early access videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my loyal Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.